Welcome, class of 2024. Um, we are happy to welcome you to our first virtual freshman boot camp. Um, although we are sad that we're not seeing you in person because we typically have all of you in um, with your parents or guardians and we kind of get to meet you, um, we will be doing this virtually and kind of getting us used to what this school year has to offer us. Um, throughout this first presentation that we are giving to you. Um, we will be providing some general information about us, who we are, what our role is here at the high school, how you can connect with us, um, what resources you have as you take on this venture at Oyster River High School. Um, and then please keep in mind that we are going to kind of space out what we roll out to you. So over the next couple of weeks, you can anticipate um, more videos, kind of just providing you some general information about the high school. So I hope you enjoy. So let me tell you a little bit about who we are. I first just want to um, reintroduce you to the leadership team, um, just so those are some names that you become familiar with. Um, you will be meeting them at the orientation um, when you come in to the building, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. So we have Suzanne Philippone, she is our principal. Mike McCann, he is Dean of Students. Mark Milliken, Dean of Faculty. Andrew Lathrop, he is our Athletic Director. Kim Felch is the counseling director for the district. Melissa Jean is the assistant director of student services. So that is our leadership team. And then we have the counselors who you see before you. Um, my name is Kim Kasmus and I will be working with all families um, with last names that begin with the letter A through D. Hello, I'm Heather Macknoff and I'm gonna be working with students who have last names that begin with E through KI. Hi everyone, I'm Jason Baker. I'm the school counselor for students whose last names begin with KL through PL. Hi everybody and I'm Kim Sakara and I work with all students who have the last name PO through Z. And so as you'll notice um, with your with your counselors at the high school, we don't travel um, via grade like you did in the middle school. We have it by the alphabet chunk. So some of you who have older siblings would have had the same counselor um, that you, you you have now. So it's a great way for us to get to know students over the four years and then kind of get to know uh, families as well. And so at the, at the high school, and, and you may have heard this at the middle school as well, we refer to ourselves as school counselors versus guidance counselors, and we feel very passionate about it because especially at the high school, historically speaking, uh, guidance counselors were really, their role was just looking at your schedule and then maybe writing a letter of recommendation um, when you were leaving high school if you're going on to college. But as a school counselor, it's much more than that. So as you can see here, we talk about this sort of three different domains that we are really um, trying to help you foster and support you throughout high school. Those domains are in the academic, so that certainly would um, entail your course selection, but also if you're struggling in, in a class, um, we're here to help you access those resources to help you be most successful. And based on what you're planning on doing, choose those classes um, that might best suit both your interests, needs, skills, and that whole picture. Uh, there's also the career development. That's something that is sort of continuing on. We do not expect you to know what you sort of want to do when you grow up, so to speak. Um, but that's something that we'll, we will always be revisiting throughout your four years and will help you plan that that four year plan. And there's lots of things to come in that regard. But right now we're, we want to focus on just sort of getting your feet into the door of the high school. Um, well, virtually right now, and um, that's that will be continued. And then the third one is social emotional, and that's also you know a huge part portion of um, the services that we provide. Normally we're seeing students in person, but just because we're remote, it doesn't mean that you might have some social emotional needs and that we are not here to support you. So, so with that, that encompasses a lot more than just our schedules. And we want you to see us as sort of your go-to, kind of as that, that sort of home base for whatever you, questions you might have. Again, especially as you're coming to the high school, but even more so now that it's remote, if you have any questions and you're feeling uncomfortable asking anyone, come to us first and we'll talk about how you can access us. But that's what we're here for. We get lots of questions and sometimes it's just um, easing some of your nerves, but that's what we're here for. And then we'll continue with that relationship with you for the next um, the next four years. Yeah. So normally when uh, when I try to explain the schedule to students, I sometimes ask them to lean on older friends or siblings that they may have had in the school. However, in the year of 2020, everyone's new to Oyster River High School this year. So 
Um, we definitely have a very different schedule and this school year looks different. So it's worth spending just a, a few moments on your schedule and what it will look like. While a majority of you will be home, learning from home, we still have a very, um, a, a very clear concrete schedule for you to follow. And this year we have a two day schedule and we've broken up our schedule into a blue day and a white day. So for the most part, you can predict um, when your classes are going to meet and what your schedule is going to look like. Every Monday and Thursday will be a blue day. Every Tuesday and Friday, a white day. And Wednesday will be a relearning reassessment day, a day for you to get caught up with work, to meet with your teachers, your advisory, um, if you're interested in joining clubs, um, and if you just really want to have a productive day to get work done, that's what Wednesday will be. So you can see here on the screen what a blue day will look like and what a white day will look like. Um, and it's pretty pretty much laid out for you there. And you should ha all have received messages that your schedule is ready and in power school so you can see when your classes will meet and um, exactly when you need to be available for learning and on the computer ready to go. So that is what the schedule looks like. I think I saw Ms. Casmus raise her hand, so I'm going to so, take her question. Um, I'm just wondering, is there information out there that are we going to commit to the schedule this year or can we anticipate this to change at all? So this schedule is the one we'll be using for the whole year, regardless of what our learning environment will look like. So if we are following this remote model, and something changes where we come into school or where no one comes into school, this will be the schedule for the year. Um, and I know our leadership team is working on, especially in the fall, there are a lot of holidays and a lot of days which tend to fall on Mondays where we don't have school and they're working out a plan um, which they will get out soon um, to account for holidays and any other times when we don't have school and what that will look like. But you can anticipate that this is the schedule um, th or students should anticipate that this is the schedule they'll have all year, regardless of where we are. Perfect. So normally we, uh, we, although we don't, we might not have physical doors for you to walk through to see, see us as counselors. We still have maintained an open door policy. Um, we are always available and, and want to make ourselves available for any questions you have. And so it might be, a, it looks a little different than just walking into the counseling office and, and asking to see one of us, but we do, um, we are going to maintain meeting availability that you will be able to access online. Uh, when in doubt, we always say when in doubt, reach out. One of the ways to definitely uh, have a fail safe way of reaching out to, to, to me or your counselor would be through email. Um, however, just if it's if it's not an emer um, emergency or an urgent situation, but you do want direct FaceTime with your counselor to have some questions answered, we do have online appointments that we take through something called Microsoft Bookings, and you will see the link for every counselor's bookings page where you can schedule an appointment on our website. Um, we will make sure you have our website, but if you go to our ma the main page of the counseling website and scroll to the bottom, you will see the counseling assignment that we showed you on one of the earlier slides and every counselor's name will be a link to their direct booking page. So we're here for you and we, we, we want to meet with you. We want to help you. We want to assist you. Um, it looks a little different, but we are here. So you can email us uh, or schedule an appointment with us online and we will have that meeting with you through Microsoft Teams. Um, Mr. Baker talked about kind of being connected with your counselor and reaching out um, and we have some other ways to make sure that you are still connected to all the things that are happening um, despite maybe not being in the building all the time. Um, so the first stop would be the counseling page website. Um, it's a pretty expansive website. There's lots of information on there um, from scheduling to program of studies. Um, any kind of information that's really time sensitive, we post on the main page along with those booking links so that you can schedule with your counselor. Um, so that's a great place to check um, for any information you might need. Schoology is a huge resource for our school. We use Schoology for all of our coursework. Teachers will deliver the curriculum through that. And we also use Schoology to deliver a lot of our important messages or information for students. So in the coming weeks, all 
students will receive invites to their class page that's sponsored by the counseling office. Um, it's the counseling corner for the class of 2024 for this particular purpose. And you'll join that group and that will provide you with up to date information, any important information we push out, and it also gives you access to the resources that we have available um, as you go up through the grades here. Another resource that we use is Facebook to post events and any um, information that is helpful for students like college fairs or career fairs or anything that's upcoming in our office. Um, there's also a couple apps. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Ms. Cassidy. I just had a quick question. Um, I'm just wondering anything that goes on Schoology, can we anticipate that will be on Facebook or anything on Facebook Schoology? Are those interchangeable or is it beneficial to watch each of those pages? I think it's probably beneficial to join both. There are some things that are shared on Facebook, um, but we try to make sure that we do it on both Schoology and Facebook so that no one misses the information. Um, does okay, that answer you. your question? Okay. Yes. Um, so there are also some apps that are useful and and it's possible that um, some students have the PowerSchool app from their use in the middle school. Um, if you don't have that, you can download it on um, your phone. The district code is important, so for students who are coming to us from other districts, you'll want to make sure that you sign out of your previous PowerSchool and be sure to put in our district code TNPB so that you're connected to the Oyster River PowerSchool um, connection it doesn't we don't share with other school districts um, and it's a great way to see your schedule um, check on your progress in your courses and stay up to date you can also um, access power school through the web browser um, but a lot of people like to have that immediate access on their phone um, the other piece that we have that's new to us um, this year is score score is a college um, search and application platform that also has some career exploration components um, and it's something that we'll be rolling out to each of the grade levels in the coming um, months to talk about what the options are for you to kind of um, explore careers, look at different schools and, and get started with that, that planning process that we're going to talk a little bit more about um, in some of the other boot camp presentations. Um, we are looking forward to working with you all this year. We're really excited to um, welcome the class of 2024 to ORHS, um, albeit virtually, but hopefully um, in the building at some point. Um, we're going to be rolling out, as Ms. Kasmus said, the, the boot camp over the coming weeks, so please be on the lookout for those videos, um, and we can't wait to meet you. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thank you.